It was an awful scene on Thursday morning. Flames shot through the roof of First Lutheran Church on Washington Avenue. The building was completely destroyed. The parishioners watched in shock, and the cause of the fire is unknown. When First Lutheran Church started burning Thursday morning... It's not the building. It's all the things that are inside the building. The memories. It looks like the old building is going to be a total loss. No one believed it could be destroyed in hours. We will rebuild one way or the other. It has to be. Since we are in downtown Lorraine area, we do get approached, approached by many organizations seeking to use our building for events and meetings. We've allowed our building to be used by Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, and a few civil organizations, and have already hosted many wedding receptions and baby showers. The feedback we receive from those using our building is how much they love our space, how accessible it is, and of course, the, simp the simplistic beauty of the structure of this building. And I am still in awe of how well the building, the finished product, really fulfills that vision. And forever grateful to the professionals, the committees, and the congregation for their hard work to make it a reality. Today, they are on the home stretch to the next chapter. This Sunday, they will worship here for the first time. The way it drew our congregation together, I think it's made us a very stronger church. The heart and soul of First Lutheran, the people, in helping the homeless, have always reached beyond the walls anyway. These Christians taking their cue still from Christ. As a congregation, we have prayed for that arsonist too. Sunday, no doubt gratitude will grace the prayers that rise up for the first time from Lorraine First Lutheran Church, take two. We wanted people to know that this is a staple for within this community and it's been here since 1899 and we're not going anywhere. The care and thought that went into this worship space are evident to all who enter and are a continual inspiration to those of us who worship here. I am proud to have served as liturgical design consultant and as a partner with First Lutheran and the entire project team on this project. It gives me great joy and hope to see the completion of a project that supports and exemplifies principles of worship and liturgy. First Lutheran's church building is a place that remembers the past. It is perfectly suited for the present and can be easily adapted to meet future demands. What has been created is a place of beauty, a place to welcome all, a place to nourish one's soul. I am very proud to say that we are more than just a church within this community. We are a beacon of hope and light to many and a place of refuge for others. And I am very proud to be the pastor serving in this congregation. And I know that this church will be here for many years to come. The overall success of the design team, of every professional hired by the church, and every leader and member within the congregation is evident in the way the worship space delights the soul with liturgical and artistic inspiration. The space is beautiful, and it is a functional piece of architecture. But of course, the journey to create the architecture was not just about building a church. It was about being the church. It was about walking together from the ashes of the past toward the fire of spirit for the future. This is the building. And this is the church.
A church rising from the ashes after arson claimed not only a sanctuary, but an entire congregation's peace of mind as 90 years worth of memories went up in smoke. It was hard. Yeah, it was hard. That was 2014. While the flames destroyed this church, it did not break the spirits of the faithful who vowed to rebuild. And it's been 168 weeks since we worshipped on a lawn right across the street after the fire. This day a symbol of determination, dedication and prayers answered for a community who through their tears never lost faith. Pieces of the past on display, an organ pipe that survived the flames now turned into new works of art for a church family that faced the worst together. Their spirit of faith is attracting members old and new. That to me is what drew me to this congregation, the resiliency, the love and compassion that, that the people of this congregation have. Because as the pastor reminded this congregation, church is not about a building, but the people inside and the praise and devotion they hold in their hearts. In Lorraine, Maya Belay, Fox 8 News.